Hey everyone. I wanted to really quickly show you how to record an emulator movie file for your speedruns or any sort of demo that you might want to show. Really quick, uh, a movie file for emulators is just a recording of your inputs and it's a specific file for the emulator. It's very easily shareable because the file is very small since it only contains the inputs. However, to do an emulator movie file, to create one, on BizHawk, you need one thing really quick. First, you want to go to config, and go to firmwares, scroll down to GBA. You will need the GBA BIOS um, .bin file. If you try to record a video without it, you will be given an error and you'll be unable to record a video. It is illegal to distribute this file. However, it is very easy to find online if you Google it. So once you have that file, you can right click this section here, select set customization, and wherever you put the GBA BIOS.bin file, it doesn't matter which folder you put it in really. You just gotta tell you just gotta tell the emulator where that file is. Okay? And then you select it and you click open. I've already selected mine, so there's no need to do it again. One more thing though. You'll want to go to GBA, select settings, go to sync settings. And this very first um, line here, skip BIOS, you want to make sure it's set to false. There's a drop down menu. I think it's natively set to true to skip the BIOS. What this is, is when you reset the emulator, reset the boot by using control R or by um, going to emulation and reboot core. When it's set to false, the startup screen as if it were on console plays out. But if it were set to true, it wouldn't play that. So we'll reset one more time to demonstrate. See how it just goes straight to the ROM. All right. So yes, make sure you go into the sync settings after you're setting your BIOS file and select false. Now, to actually record your video to movie, the movie file, all you have to do is right click the emulator like video uh, screen, basically. You'll see record movie. You can click on that. You can select which folder it will be in. It defaults to the movies folder in BizHawk. You can name it whatever you like. We'll just name this one tutorial. <clears throat> you can select the author as well. You can just type that in you want. Now make sure you select the correct option here. You have power on, uh, record from power on, record from now, and record from save RAM. Do not select power on unless you're doing like a serious task to submit to task videos. What record from power on does is it completely wipes your save RAM. All of your save data will be gone. And it will start the recording from as if the console was just powered on. The purpose for this is, you know, task videos requires, like serious tasks for task videos um, are from a completely fresh ROM as if you were just playing the game for the first time. If you were to select record from now, I'll just go ahead and select that. See how I'm still on the screen, and it just starts the recording. You can tell the recording started up, up here by the frame counter, because it started over. Now I can do anything, really. And then just stop the recording. You can right click in the center or the screen area and just press stop the recording. If you didn't really care for that file, you can just stop the recording, stop the movie without saving and it won't even save the file. So I'll just stop the movie here. And then we can play it back. BizHawk is pretty convenient. It has a um, menu system here for movie files of the ROM that you have selected. So this is the only movie file that we've recorded here, but you can also select the folder icon here and choose a specific one from wherever it is. So from here, you just press OK. And it starts the movie file exactly where you started the recording. 
It'll play back all the inputs, which you can see near the top of the screen up here. This number over here is the re-records number. If you were to save state and reload your save state in the middle of a movie file, that would be indicated up in this corner. If you're interested on those kinds of um, indicators, you can go to view, frame counter, input, and re-record count. I have all of those toggled. But if you're not interested, it's not that important. Uh, although you will need the frame counter if you're going to submit runs to the leaderboards, at least for Circle of the Moon. Quickly go over what it's like to record from SRAM. This is pretty similar from Power On. However, it doesn't wipe your RAM, the, the save RAM. So it'll reset the console, but you'll still have your save files. So just select OK. It boots from the BIOS. And again, we can just do whatever. The game will automatically record our inputs. And I'll just go over here and stop the movie. And we can play it back. And that's it. Um, I just want to test one thing because I haven't actually done this yet. It's been a long time since I've done these kinds of things. Start movie. Okay. I see. Um, a couple things about the movie files is you don't want to be using re-records. You don't want to be safe stating and reloading them. If you're recording a movie file and you were to want to reset the game, uh, you can't save reset because it'll just continue the movie because those are just, uh, you can't solve reset, I mean, because that'll just continue the movie file. So you can see by the frame counter at the top that it's continuing. And if you were to reboot the core or reboot your game by um, doing Control R, it'll stop the movie file as you see here, the recording has stopped. And it'll just start, and there's no movie being recorded right now. So in order to, let's say you're resetting for a run, you'll have to start the movie recording again, which, you know, if you're resetting for a run anyway, you can go, you can select the kind of, uh, you can create the file, do the author, and just select save RAM, and that will let you do a reset, basically, in the BIOS. Yeah, that's really, that's really it. Hope this was helpful, and it's a little longer than I was expecting, but there were quite a few specific things I needed to go over. And there you are. Enjoy!